Several of the NBA's top coaches got their start in the video room. If men like Eric Spolstra, Mike Brown, and Frank Vogel can make that leap, why can't Natalie Nakase? While the Clippers video room is where Nakase got her feet wet in the NBA, that's not where her story began. Nakase played college basketball at UCLA, where she went from walk-on to a three-year starter at point guard. She was playing professionally in Germany when an injury derailed her professional career, and that's when she shifted to coaching. Nakase helmed a women's team in Germany for two years. She then headed to Japan, becoming an assistant in the BJ League. Just 12 games into her first season with the Saitama Broncos, her second team in Japan, head coach Dean Murray was fired. Nakase was promoted, making her the first female head coach in league history. Of course, she never lost sight of her goal to become a head coach in the NBA, and a year later she landed an unpaid internship in the Clippers video room. She quickly impressed head coach Vinny Del Negro and his staff and translated her internship into a job with the team. When Doc Rivers took over in L.A., Nakase earned the respect of both the new head coach and the players, regularly assisting and advising all-stars like Blake Griffin and Chris Paul. To those who know her, that's not surprising. She's got a jump shot that rivals the best in the game and knowledge of the sport that knows no gender. In 2014, her third season with the team, Nakase broke another barrier. At the age of 34, she had become the first female to sit amongst assistant coaches on an NBA bench, serving on the Clippers' summer league staff under Brendan O'Connell. Then, on August 25, 2017, Nakase was named assistant coach for the G League's Agua Caliente Clippers one step closer. Nakase has never let her 5'2 stature, her gender, or the opinions of others sway her from following her dreams. As she says, quote, I don't want to just coach, I want to win championships.